everyone, my name is Molly and I'm an educator at Bay Park Zoo and I'm going to be showing you how you can make um, a pinata for your pet at home. Um, some of you may have had pinatas at a birthday party or a family get together and you know they're pretty fun to play with and then once you um, figure out how to open it, there's treats inside. Um, and that's the same thing that we'll be doing for our pets at home. Um, so what you need if you'd like to create a pinata is a balloon, some flour, water, um, a mixing bowl, and then um, some strips of paper. So you can either use newspaper or um, I used recycled paper bags and just cut them into about one or two inch strips. The first thing you're going to do is uh, mix up a flour water paste. And so I just put some um, flour in a bowl, um, poured a little bit of water inside, and then uh, stirred it up with the fork until it got to about um, a pretty liquidy consistency. You can kind of see it here. After you have that ready, all you have to do is dip your paper strips into that flour mixture, kind of coat um, both sides, and then here's the fun part. You can kind of get all gloopy and squidgy. Um, you don't want too much excess of that mixture on the paper, so you're going to run that off with your fingers. Once you have that, you can just put it on your balloon. It'll stick pretty much right away. And what we're going to do is just layer the whole thing. So you can go in all different sorts of directions um, to make sure it's nice and sturdy. So here I made an X on my balloon. And then we'll just keep going until the whole thing's covered. It might take um, an hour or two. You might have to do it in little stages to make sure it, it's nice and dry. And then we'll do a couple layers. So once you have one layer all set or one side of the balloon done, you can wait till it dries, do the other side, and get a couple layers. And we'll check back in later and see how we're doing. All right, everyone, so you can see my pinata is finished. It's nice and dry, it's pretty sturdy. Um, so the next step to be able to give this to your pet is to get this balloon out. So I left the um, tie to the balloon accessible so it's easy to pull out. Uh, but what you can do is take um, some scissors and just cut a slit at the top of your balloon, let all that air out, and it should start peeling away from the inside pretty easily. Make sure you get the whole balloon out um, so there's not a risk of your pet ingesting some of it. And then what I'm going to do is take some of my dog's regular food along with some of her favorite treats um, and put that inside the pinata. And then it's kind of like a game. If she interacts with the pinata, she never knows if it's going to be regular food or extra special treat, um, which is a great way to keep your pets engaged. The animals at the zoo get enrichment every single day from their zookeepers, whether it be a puzzle feeder like this one or different types of toys or even scents as enrichment. And that's a great way to exercise their minds and stimulate them along with exercising their muscles if they have to get into a food item enrichment. So I'm going to make it a little easier for my dog by cutting some holes, extra holes in the pinata too, um, and then stuff it with her food and treats. We'll see if she interacts a little bit later. Uh, my dog's not super toy motivated, and so, um, but she does like puzzle feeders. So we'll, I'm curious to see if she interacts with this. It's okay if your pet doesn't interact. Sometimes new items can be scary or it can take a little while for them to figure it out but it's always up to the animal if they want to interact or not. Hopefully you guys will try um, to give your pet a new type of enrichment at home, but for the meantime, thank you for your support and we'll hopefully see you soon. And it looks like she's pretty curious. She found a hole at the bottom of that pinata to get some of her treats out. We'll have to wait and see if she gets it all. Thanks for joining us.